Today, we're painting the front grille of my Mercedes X-Class in black using Plasti Dip. <laughs> So I decided to do this tutorial because I was going through the process of finding out how to actually remove the front wheel of a Mercedes X-Class and then paint it and put it back. So after doing some research, I found some information on different forums and Facebook groups, but I couldn't find any video that actually shows the whole process from step one to step three. Step one, removing the front grille from the Mercedes X-Class and you will see it's quite an easy process. Step two, paint the grill in black using Plasti Dip. Step three, put the grill back and see the end result. So let's get started. So the idea here is actually to paint this uh, silver grill part in black, but to keep the Mercedes star in silver and chrome. I thought uh, I'd have to remove the whole part, including this plastic uh, back in the back, but as you will see, you can actually just remove this part here. So, in order to be able to remove the, the, the grill, you, you first need to remove this, this, uh, this uh, plastic part here, which is actually extremely simple because these things here are actually very practical. They're very easy to remove. You just need to have some kind of uh, tool here. I'm going to use a knife like this uh, and, and just go in between here, as you see, and just turn it and pop, it op opens up. Here you can see again, I just pop all of these little pieces here, one after the other. And then once you've done that, you just pull them out very simply. Now you can just take the cover off and here you will be able to access the back of the grill. So for the back of the grill things are a little bit more difficult. As you can see there's all these little clips here uh, that you have all along the grill here and uh, there's maybe 50 of them if not more. But what I suggest and basically at first I was a little bit scared that I'm gonna break them but I would start with the with the end part here and uh, just slowly start with the top and as you unclip them start slowly pulling the grill in the front here we go this one's a little bit more difficult here we go bottom part just don't pull too hard just piece by piece. If you need the help of the knife, just go ahead. Help yourself with a tool to push these things back. As you see, it comes off nicely. And then you do the, the other side. Now remove the, the grill. As you see, just this plastic part. And uh, I said before, I uh, want to actually keep the the silver arrow uh, chromish. I want to keep this chrome part and just paint this part here uh, and uh, paint that part in black. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to turn it around. And same thing, there's a couple of clips here in the back. It's actually fairly simple to remove. Uh, you just uh, press these clips until you actually remove the whole thing. See one clip here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you have six clips to remove, and then you can remove the star. Okay, so now I remove the clips, uh, the silver star and the silver arrow. Uh, I'm gonna put it aside, and uh, here we got the piece that we're gonna paint. So this is the, the whole piece that we're gonna paint. Next stage is to actually clean it, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that.
Okay guys, so we're ready to actually start painting the front grille of the Mercedes X-Class uh, with some Plasti Dip. Um, but the first thing is to uh, make sure that the surface is absolutely clean and uh, you shouldn't use any water, you should use a fiber cloth to actually uh, clean the, the whole front. So we put some protection everywhere, um, so it doesn't spray everywhere. But uh, yeah, I think it's uh, it's also very sunny and very warm, so it's probably going to dry very quickly between the coats. I'll say that we'll put some uh, 10 minutes of uh, drying between different coats. I think we're going to do probably seven layers. Uh, that's recommended to do a minimum of four, but the more the better. Some people do 10. I think between six and seven coats, depending on how it evolves. Um, that's uh, what we're aiming for. So for the spray, so obviously Plasti Dip spray, black, matte. Uh, that's what we're gonna use. One spray is gonna be much uh, way enough. And then having one of these uh, tools to actually um, like a power grip for the spray can. And that's what we're gonna use. So let's go. So before you use, you should shake it very well and then test it out a little bit. Okay, it seems to work. And then for the first layer, you should be very light, do it very lightly. So we're ready for the second coat of painting. Um, one thing that I forgot to put for the first coat is this mask. I noticed that there's quite a strong smell and uh, so I don't want to inhale any of the fumes of uh, the Plasti Dip. So I really recommend putting one of these masks on. So, okay, let's go with the, the second coat. First of shaking. I'm trying it out a bit. Okay. Second coat is done. Gonna leave it dry for 10 minutes now. Okay, so the second layer has now dried up and it's time to add the third layer. layer done okay now the third coat is dry um, but uh, we definitely need to apply a couple more coats because there's some parts that are still a little bit clear and uh, so we're ready to start with the fourth coat for layer number five. We still notice that there are a couple of spots where there's not that much paint, so we need to cover those. I notice also a couple of bubbles, which is a pain in the ass, but uh, I guess we'll have to live with it. So layer number five.
really starts to look good. Let's see how it dries. Okay, so now uh, coat number five dried out. Uh, we're ready for coat number six. The funny thing is here, uh, there's some parts that are, it's like it's ripping open. So the plastic, uh, plastic dip is actually ripping open. So I'll have to cover that and I'll put also some other coats on the, the parts that are a little bit light. So there's some parts who haven't had that much coating and I will have to cover those. So let's go. Number six. So I think we're ready for the final layer. Uh, we've done six layer. I'm gonna do a seventh one, uh, as said before. So final layer, and then I'll let it dry inside for an hour or two, uh, just to make sure. And uh, yeah, we'll see. But it looks really nice. I mean, some kind of little bubbles, but nothing too bad. So the seventh and final coat is done and now I'm going to take it inside uh, to do a final dry for an hour or two. Okay, so now it's uh, finished and dry and uh, ready to be installed. So here's the front grill and uh, ready to install. So we're gonna start first by putting the grill back and then we'll put the, the silver arrow back into place. Okay, so I get the front grill and I'm gonna put it back in. And we're gonna finalize with the arrow. Put the arrow. Make sure that you see there are two things that, that go here. And same thing. We need to put it into place and put it back. And here we go. Done. Finally, we're gonna put back the plastic cover to protect everything. So, so it's the other way around. And as you will see with the different clips, they're very good. Touch, you push them all, you clip them black into place, and you're done. Job finished. So, final result pretty amazing. I'm really, really happy with how it go, how it went. So, the final result here we are. 
the grill is black I really like how it looks I really like the the, the finishing touch um, it really looks great very easy seriously it only took me a couple of hours with the drying of the paint and uh, anybody could do that if I can do it you can do it too so go ahead see you next time Oh,